Motorists in Kampala woke up this morning to another rise in the fuel prices, seeing the average cost per litre hitting 5,900 shillings at various pumps. Uh, we interacted with some of, the, uh, some of the drivers to give us their thoughts on the matter. Motorists in Kampala are wondering how best to manage the skyrocketing prices of fuel in order to go on with their work. If you use three liters of, the, of, of fuel, it, it doesn't work. You only need at least five liters. And of which at the end of the day, you find you have saved like nothing because the prices we use to charge the clients, it has not changed. Even now, for example, from Muchira up to Kampala, it has been 10,000 sometime back on a border border. But this time if your client you tell him that it's now 15, he cannot. You cannot use your border border. For me in ICT, the nature of our business is, um, is about uh, making connections and moving. We travel a lot, we do surveys a lot, then we, we go and work on sites. So most of our work relies on fuel because we have to drive back and forth, customers, sites, and a lot of other things that we need to do. So we use fuel almost every single day. So the price of fuel directly affects the services to our customers because we have to charge them more in order to make ends meet. Several governments around the world are debating subsidizing oil products, but Kenya, our regional counterpart, is contemplating lifting its subsidy for being too costly. I take it as it is a general crisis. So, and I assume that maybe it will be for the meanwhile, as the government promised to us. Our government can also pay for us to be the best decision because our storages are empty. That's what the Ministry of Energy said. So nothing you can say about that. The storages of buying more fuel, no, you can, you can just pay for us some percent again. We also invest in it. On the other hand, the need for an effective national fuel reservoir has been re echoed. The government should have fuel reserves. If other countries have fuel reserves, why, why not Uganda? And also, they should speed up our own oil refineries so that we can also make our own fuel because we have the resources why don't we have our own refineries producing fuel that we use so I think they should at the moment short term they should subsidize the fuel but long term they should make sure we also generate petroleum why not currently this 21st day of June 2022 fuel prices per liter in Ugandan shillings at various stations in Kampala were as follows Total's petrol and diesel were both at 5,990. Shell's petrol and diesel were both at 5,940. Ruby's petrol was at 5,900 and diesel at 5,880. City Oil and Oryx's petrol and diesel were at 5,850 and 5,910 respectively. How high will these fuel prices go? The question most motorists are asking themselves. The few that I've managed to talk to are contemplating on increasing the prices of their services just to be able to sustain their cost of living. Reporting for UBC News, Wadulo Mark Arnold in Kampala.